Welcome to the Morning Download Podcast, your go-to resource for personal finance, economics, and market insights. In just eight minutes a day, we provide valuable information to help you make better money decisions. Don't forget to sign up for our free newsletter at https slash w morning download com subscribe. Let's dive right in. In today's episode, we'll cover investors anticipating the Fed meeting, U.S. regulation for crypto, U.S. crude oil prices, inflation in the U.S., Ford's production cuts, Argentina's peso devaluation, stock market highs, Netflix's viewing data, OpenAI's undisclosed finances, U.S. regulation of crypto, the proposed bill by Senator Elizabeth Warren, and the best rewards credit cards to consider. Today's the day everyone's been waiting for as the Fed meeting takes center stage. And as investors hold their breath, some positive news has come knocking on our doors. First things first, let's talk about crude oil. It took a stumble on Tuesday, falling nearly 4% and sending shockwaves through the investment community. Surprisingly, this drop happened despite the tense situation between Israel and Palestine. But hey, here's the silver lining. This drop might actually be a good sign. It shows that inflation is finally starting to ease up, with the number now down to a manageable 3, 1%. But enough about that, let's shift our focus to the main event, today's Fed session. Brace yourselves because we're about to get some major updates. The Fed will be sharing its latest projections on economic growth, inflation, and unemployment. And of course, we can't forget about Chair Jerome Powell, who will be stepping up to the mic after the meeting for the usual post-meeting news conference. So what's the outlook? Well, traders seem to be betting on rate decreases starting in the second quarter of 2024 and continuing throughout the year. But Wall Street, ever the cautious bunch, is taking a more measured approach. And here's the thing, guys. This meeting is a big deal. It's going to set the tone for the next five to six months. So buckle up and get ready for some potential market shifts. In other news from around the globe, Ford dropped a bombshell by cutting its planned 2024 production of the electric F-150 Lightning in half. On the international front, China has made a bold move, vowing to boost domestic demand as part of their recovery plans for 2024. And in Argentina, emergency economic reforms are on the horizon, with a devaluation of the peso by over 50%. Stocks are on the rise, and it's all thanks to some good news. The S&P 500 reached its highest level since January 2022, while the Nasdaq and Dow also saw significant gains, hitting their highest levels since April and January of last year. This is great news for investors and shows positive momentum in the market. The boost in stocks can be attributed to a mix of factors. Inflation-related data played a role as it helped push stocks higher. But there's also some interesting company news making the rounds. Netflix recently shared viewing information for a whopping 18,000 titles, which accounted for 99% of all its viewing. They're really upping their transparency game by planning to release a What We Watched report every six months. This report will cover almost all of Netflix's shows and movies, illustrating the amount of hours they've been viewed. It's a move that many applaud, as it brings more transparency to the streaming giant. In contrast, OpenAI remains a bit of a mystery when it comes to its finances. The nonprofit side of the organization generated around $44,485 in revenue in 2022, primarily from investment income. However, they've chosen to keep their for-profit revenue a secret, which has raised some eyebrows. This is particularly controversial, given that OpenAI is valued at a staggering $86 billion. It'll be interesting to see how this plays out and if OpenAI will become more transparent in the future. So it looks like the U.S. is finally taking steps to regulate crypto, following in the footsteps of the EU. Massachusetts Senator Elizabeth Warren is leading the charge, aiming to crack down on money laundering and highlighting the role of crypto in facilitating it. She claims to have the backing of other politicians and financial organizations. Senator Warren's proposed bill, known as the Digital Asset Anti-Money Laundering Act, seeks to address gaps in the country's money laundering rules. The bill would classify certain crypto apps, firms, and non-custodial wallets as financial institutions regulated under the Bank Secrecy Act. This has raised concerns among some investors, but experts believe it's unlikely to pass. They argue that Warren's track record is not very promising, with only 11 of her 330 bills ever being passed. Some experts even criticize the bill, 
saying it lacks thorough consideration. Interestingly, while Warren's focus is on surveillance, lawmakers seem more interested in other aspects of crypto at the moment. So although we may see crypto becoming legalized in the U.S., it doesn't seem likely to happen this year or under this particular bill. In other news, KuCoin has agreed to leave New York and settle a state lawsuit by paying $22 million. Additionally, the SEC has held a meeting with Franklin Templeton regarding a spot Bitcoin ETF. It'll be interesting to see how these developments unfold and what impact they will have on the crypto landscape. So, we recently surveyed our subscribers to find out what they love most about their credit cards, and the majority of them said it's all about the rewards and cashback offers. Makes sense, right? Who doesn't love getting something extra for their spending? So, we wanted to share with you some of the best rewards credit cards out there that you should definitely consider. First up is the Chase Sapphire Preferred Registered Trademark Card. This card comes with some incredible rewards, like earning 5x points on travel purchases, 3x on dining, and 2x on all other travel purchases. Plus, new users can earn 60,000 free points, which are super easy to redeem. The downside is that it does have an annual fee of $95, but for the right person, the benefits can definitely outweigh the cost. Next, we have the American Express Registered Trademark Gold Card. While it has a slightly higher annual fee of $250, it offers some fantastic perks. New users can earn a whopping 60,000 points after spending $6,000 on eligible purchases within the first six months. You'll also get 4x points at restaurants and supermarkets, 3x on flights, and 1x on all other purchases. Not to mention, you'll enjoy a $240 credit to be divided among eligible restaurants and Uber cash. So all things considered, this card can practically pay for itself. If you're looking for a rewards card with no annual fee, you should check out the Discover It Registered Trademark Cashback. Not only does it have a $0 annual fee, but it also offers 0% introductory APR for 15 months on purchases. You'll earn 5% cash back on everyday purchases. And during the first year, they will double your cash back with their unlimited cash back match program. It's a great option for those who want to save some money while still enjoying rewards. Last on our list is the US Bank Altitude Registered Trademark Connect Visa, Signature Registered Trademark Card. When you spend $2,000 in eligible purchases, within the first 120 days, you'll receive points worth $500. Plus, there's no annual fee for the first year, although you'll have to pay $1.95 starting from the second year. Keep in mind, though, that you'll need a credit score of at least 740 to get approved for this card. All of these cards are fantastic choices, but remember, only apply for one if you truly need it and are confident in your ability to make payments on time. Today's personal finance quote comes from investing legend Benjamin Graham, who said, buy not on optimism, but on arithmetic. What does he mean by this? Well, Graham's advice is all about being rational and objective when it comes to making financial decisions. Sometimes we can get caught up in the excitement and optimism of a potential investment. We hear success stories or see others making a lot of money, and we want to jump on board too. But Graham warns against letting emotions dictate our financial choices. Instead, he urges us to focus on the numbers, on the cold hard facts. It's important to do our research, analyze the financials, and make informed decisions based on solid arithmetic. This means considering things like the company's earnings, debt levels, and valuation. By following this approach, Graham believes we can avoid the pitfalls of irrational exuberance and make more sound investment choices. It's a reminder to stay grounded and not let our emotions cloud our judgment. In this episode, we discussed the latest updates on the Fed meeting, soaring stocks, U.S. regulation for crypto, top rewards credit cards, oil price drops, inflation rates, Ford's production cuts, Argentina's peso devaluation, stock market highs, Netflix's viewing data, OpenAI's undisclosed finances, US and EU regulations on crypto, and the advice to buy based on numbers rather than optimism. Thanks for tuning into The Morning Download, your go-to podcast for personal finance, economics, and market insights in just eight minutes a day. Don't forget to subscribe for more helpful content and sign up for our free newsletter at morningdownload.com slash subscribe.